Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to a brand new video. Today I'm bringing you another big fat runway haul. And as you can see by the title, this isn't just a runway haul, this is an autumn winter runway haul. Which makes it ten times better because I'm obsessed with autumn winter as you probably know by now. I just want to quickly say this video is sponsored by runway but that doesn't mean my opinions are going to change, you know what I'm like, I'm always honest. But I do want to say thank you so much to Romy for sending me all these items and sponsoring this video. Before I get started, it's fake tan day. It scrub off the fake tan and redo the fake tan. So my hands, I've got no tan on at the minute until I redo it later. I just needed to film this video so I, I didn't have time to scrub all my tan off and I didn't want to film pay all. So that's why there's a big difference with my hand in my face. I don't have a light foundation because I'm always tanned. I, there's literally one day a week I'm not tanned and today is that one day. So there was nothing I could do so let's just ignore that. I had no instant tan to put over my hands so it's going to irritate me that it's going to really irritate me, but I just wanted to point that out and get that out of the way so you weren't thinking, why has this girl got orange, an orange face in pale hands? The first item I am wearing, I wasn't going to wear it, I put a top on it a lot. I put a top on in the lot so I didn't wear it, but it's freezing. This is what I mean, it's also winter, it's freezing, so I had to put on the jumper. And it's my favourite jumper because I got it in a large, I think. I might have even got it in an extra large. It doesn't say on this, but it must say on the back, so I don't know. But I got it really, I really sized up in it because I wanted it big and I wanted it chunky and I wanted it to be comfy. But it's just this grey little jumper. Yeah, so it's just this grey oversized hoodie. I'm not actually, hoodie, it's a sweater, it's not a hoodie. I'm not actually sure if, if it is oversized though, because like I said, I did size up quite a lot. But to say it's a large, it doesn't really fit like a large. It fits quite a small large. I'd say this is like a medium. But it's just this grey sweater. It's thermal, which I love because you know what I'm like. I can't deal with anything that's not thermal. You all know that by the at this point. I'm always mentioning it. But I love it. It's such good quality as well. Like, I can't be dealing with it when it's not good quality. And it's just got green writing over the front. I will add in try on clips, by the way, because this isn't the best way to show you. But it just says movement. And then I think it says Sunday life lies in movement. I just thought it was really nice, you know, to just... And every day, we all need sweaters for every day in autumn. I wear sweaters all year round, though. It's like I wear joggers all year round. Joggers, there's, there's never a tracksuit season for me because I wear tracksuits all year round. I'm always cold. It's just ten times worse once it gets to autumn winter. The reason why I loved the green so much is because I found a cap and I wanted to wear the cap with the, out, with the jumper. Because, you know, I'm like, I've been obsessed with caps recently. I don't know where the obsession come from, but I just... I'm obsessed. So this one is just a cream. It, they're like a baseball cap. They are. I've got this is my second from Romy, which I'm obsessed with because they are so cheap but such good quality. Like for an everyday cap, I'm obsessed. It has adjustable at the back because I've have I got a small head? Have I got a small? I don't know. I don't know if I do have a small head or not. But it just has green writing on it. it says Brooklyn. New York on the front and it does say 1631 I'm obsessed do you know what I mean I'm literally obsessed I could wear caps all day long if I could in the autumn winter I just love a cap because they literally dress every single outfit up like I don't want a casual outfit like a tracksuit or anything a cap will just dress it up I even wear them with rompers even to make a skirt outfit look cool or a shorts outfit do you know what I mean anything even put some sunnies on caps make outfits look sick this one's quite longer though at the front can you tell like it's quite a long cap like it is quite big front wise but i kind of like it and it's one of them things bad hair day who's gonna know you've got bad hair day i've got some boots i've got some boots i've got some bloody boots i've actually got two pairs of boots but I'll, they're about one this one's a casual pair the other one's Let's dress an outfit up for the autumn winter pair. This is like an, a 
every day. Don't tell me they're wellies. Don't tell me they look like wellies. They don't look like wellies. I'm obsessed. They're these khaki. They do feel like wellies. They do feel like wellies and they do kind of look like wellies. But I feel like they are sick. So they're these proper chunky beta wellies. Mid calf boot. I'd say they're mid calf. I thought these boots with an oversized khaki blazer with a sweater dress would look sick for the autumn winter. They're them type of boots. I'm going away this weekend so I'm thinking maybe take these with me because I am obsessed with them. They fit so well as well. I've got quite thin, I've got quite small calves, like my calves. I haven't really got big calves so I don't really, I've got fluff all over them from these joggers. But I don't really struggle with getting my calves into boots but these are actually quite wide because I know quite a lot of people struggle getting their calves in boots but these are quite wide they don't have a zip so they are a slip on boot I know not everyone prefers them but with them looking like wellies they go with the aesthetic of the boot so much better because I feel like a zip on these would look so silly but I'm just obsessed with them I love the detailing on the boots like you know the like stitching and stuff and the chunkiness of these boots I'm a 10 out of 10. I'm so excited to wear them. I'll add in some try on clips so you can see the way I would, the way I wanted to style them boots because I feel like you'd be obsessed with the way I wanted to style these boots. I might as well show you the next pair of boots. These are all in your face type of boots but I'm obsessed with them. I feel like these are sick. I do have these boots in khaki and cream as well let me just do the zip up but they're these croc style latex boots like can you see the croc design on them i just feel like they are so sexy so so sexy so cute i feel like these are also a halloween boot like could you imagine these with a halloween fit i feel like that would look so good you know with them being like latex i don't know like if they are latex but that's how I would describe the material of these boots because they're like shiny. Do you know what I mean? I'd describe that as latex. But they're a proper chunky heeled boot. Nice point toe. I just feel like these to dress up a blazer dress, these to dress up a t-shirt dress. You know something when you're wanting to wear like a... When you're wanting to go out in the autumn winter but you are wanting to wear a little dress but you know you're going to get cold so you want in something to warm your legs up. I feel like these look really good and to be honest they're a statement boot and the, the cream ones and the khaki ones that I do own they're like my fave boots to wear because they're so easy to walk in you wouldn't think they would be because of how like that's quite a high heel but they are actually really easy to walk in. I prefer boot heels than I do like normal actual heels i love a good pair of boots do you know when i was in school all i wore was boots didn't wear anything i always wore a heeled boot i'm not like that as much anymore but i do still love my boots the accessories out of the way i got this bag it does come with a strap when i was doing a tiktok haul of all of this i was like i don't know where to attach the strap i was being so thick it's literally there the dangly bit it's literally there the attachment bit to attach the strap and i couldn't work it out because you can actually hold this bag or have it as like a crossover crossover body bag or like you could even just wear it with a shoulder bag that way then but if this bag isn't screaming autumn winter to you i don't know what bag is gonna scream autumn winter to you so it's just this squared bag and it's brown could you imagine these with uggs i feel like i need to get myself a pair of uggs because there is that seems like a statement for the autumn winter for like uggs like imagine so comfy i even want a pair of the fur crocs i know that crocs are a love hate thing but i feel like crocs just seem my sister's got a pair of crocs and they just seem so comfy and they seem so cool my boyfriend don't like them though my boyfriend don't like anything though but it's just this textured that's the only way i can explain it it's like proper textured soft brown and then it's got bog all the way around and the straps are again also bog i just felt like that for the autumn when it was going to go with so many things it does have a black bit at the front and it just says bag fashion. I feel like it's a dupe of some bag. I don't know what bag though. 
but I just felt like that was really nice. It has got, it's got an inside pocket. I hate bags that, I hate bags that don't have an inside pocket because like, I don't carry a purse one with me, so I need a zip to separate all my stuff, but there's a lot of room in this bag, like, is that Mary Poppins bag? Is that Mary Poppins bag kind of thing? It's beautiful, I know it's beautiful. Is she gonna start with coats this all? I mean, I probably won't be that. The amount of coats I own at this point is a joke, I know. But I love them. I love them and they all go with different things. This is a, right, this material, right, it's fluff, but it looks like bulk, but bulk isn't this soft. So I'm guessing it is fluff. I can't with how pink my skin naturally is. Really putting me off that. Go away. But it's this big, fluffy, oversized coat. This isn't a very good way of showing it yet, but it's literally like a dressing gown. It is literally like an outdoor dressing gown. That's the best way of describing it because I bought a dressing gown. It literally looks the exact same with there. Same as this, but has the tiny bits around the front and without the buttons. So it's literally like wearing my dressing gown out, which I love. I'm obsessed with fluffy fluffy coats. I've always worn fluffy coats. They're my favourite coats to wear. I just feel like they're so sick. And they, they dress up like tracksuits. They dress up anything. They're a staple for the autumn. And I loved this pure creamy white coat. I just love the aesthetic of like a clean girl. And this coat reminds me of like a clean girl aesthetic. And then, But it also has black buttons on which I do prefer because it makes the co it seem more like a coat than a dressing gown. I'm just so obsessed with it. The colours, the colour of it and everything. This isn't a winter coat. Like This is a winter coat but this isn't a coat to wear in the rain. Don't wear your fluffy coats in the rain. I used to wear my fluffy coats to school in the rain. They was ruined. They got ruined and I used to come home and I'd be like why did I wear that today? I knew it was going to rain. So if you get these don't wear them in the rain because you'll ruin them. But if this isn't, this coat isn't screaming your winter wonderland coat, your Christmas coat, gonna make you feel like a Christmas angel. I don't know what, I don't know what actually is gonna make you get into that Christmas mood because this reminds me of a hot chocolate date coat. Coat. <laughs> reminds me that I'm going to all the Christmas markets kind of coat. Moving on to the last thing. Oh, this is inside out. Everything's always inside out. When you see this, you're probably thinking, that's not really your style, Alicia, but I actually got it because I thought it'd go really nice with shorts and boots for the autumn winter. I just thought, to be honest, I got it in a large, so it was really oversized. I just thought to lounge around the house in, in the autumn winter would look really good. So it's this oversized long sleeve tee, like a jumper tee, and... I just thought that's going to be really good for the autumn winter. I actually, in the try-on haul on my TikTok, wore this with this black top on underneath. You couldn't see it. You couldn't see it. You could only see it, like, round my neck because this is... Because it's so big, it drops down on me at the front. So, this is good material. And it's so soft to say it's a t-shirt material and it's so thick. I, I wasn't expecting it to be so thick. So, I am so happy I picked this up because... She used to just lounge around in the house and that's what us girls do. We just lounge around in stuff like this all year round. But I just thought that's really nice to just throw on when you're cold. Even to wear with... Could you imagine just tying it up with jeans? You could pair this with so many things. I'll add in some ways I styled this for the try on clip but I'm absolutely obsessed. Anyway, that's everything that I picked up from this haul. I do have a discount code for you. I do have a discount code for you. You know I won't do a haul without getting you a discount code. So I'll leave it somewhere on screen. Somewhere on screen. Yeah. My hands. I can't deal with them. I need to go. I need to go to school my time off. But I hope you all enjoyed this video. And I just want to say a huge thank you again to Romwe for sponsoring this video. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye.